That's Tim Hughes. And there must be more than this. Beloved, it is so wonderful when you make that decision to switch on your TV set to watch Worship TV. It really is. It means that you and I can connect in a wonderful way and it also means that you can communicate with me because this program is interactive. If you would like to send me an email, I would love to hear from you. And the email address is tv at worshipradio247.org. It's up on the screen now for you. tv at worshipradio247.org. And if you're wondering why the email address is worshipradio247, that's simple because we've got a radio station, a sister radio station called Worship Radio 247 that it is on 24 hours a day. And if you listen right to the end of this broadcast, you will hear an announcement about Worship Radio 247 and we would love you to join us. Now, we're at the Father Heart of God in part 32. I believe it's part 32. It is in, it, no it's not, it's Father Heart of God part 23 in actual fact. Father Heart of God, part 23, and we're looking at the Lord's Prayer, and last time we looked at verse 12, forgive us our sins. And I told you then that we hadn't done with this, we hadn't finished with this particular verse. Let's just see in context what it says. Jesus is teaching how to pray. He's saying this is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honoured. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done here on earth, just as it is in heaven. Give us our food for today. And then he says this. And forgive us our sins. Now, it would be very simple for me to stick a full stop in there and say, this is what we're talking about and forgive us our sins. There is no full stop. There's actually a comma there. That means it goes on. And there's a word that comes right after sins, and that word is as. It's a contraction. It's a tiny little word that joins two sentences together to form one long sentence. And this one says this, and forgive us our sins as or just as, as we forgive those who sin against us. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. I'm going to say it again. Forgive us our sins as we are in the middle of, we are in the process of saying, yep, that person's forgiven, yep, that person's forgiven, but problems are, that's not the truth. And you know it. And I know it. There have been times in my life when I have said, I'm not going to forgive you for that. I can't forgive you for what you've said to me. I cannot forgive you for what you've done for me. Beloved, that's a curse. And it has to go in Jesus' name. Because if you want to debate whether or not we have a choice, you can debate all night. And I will continue to say the same thing. There is no choice. Understand this. If you're taking notes and you're writing this down, I want you to write this down in block capital letters. There is no choice. You don't have a choice. At the beginning of the broadcast, we were looking at Philippians, the third chapter, verse 13. When Paul was saying, forgetting the past, I strive forward. I press on to reach that goal the Lord Jesus Christ has given me. That is paraphrased. But forgetting the past, putting the past behind me, I am focusing all my attention on what goes in front. But you can forget the past as long as you have dealt with the past. I'll say that again. You can forget the past as long as it is dealt with. You can't put something into the past that has not been forgiven. 
You cannot. Because it's not dealt with. And therefore, it doesn't belong in the past. You see, if what has someone has done against you and you haven't forgiven them, it is not in the past, it's in the present and will be in the future. Jesus, thank you for that. That is such wise counsel. You've got to see this for yourself. You've got to see that in the past, things are left in the past that have been dealt with. But if you haven't forgiven that person that hurt you 30 years ago that is in the past, it's not in the past. Beloved, if you haven't forgiven them, it is in the present. It's now. And if you don't forgive them, it continues to be in the future. Why? Because it holds you back from that which God wants to bring you right now in Jesus' name. Because he says here in his word, And forgive my sins just as... I am in the process of forgiving those who have done something against me. It's in the present, beloved. It's not in the past. But David, it's impossible. Yeah, you're right. It is impossible. I'm telling you, it's impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. That's the point. In your own strength, yeah, forgiveness can sometimes be a momentous thing and it cannot be done it's just too difficult to even contemplate especially when you think about abuse physical abuse mental abuse sexual abuse anything like that and you think no 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 that person what they did to me was cripple me no hang on hang on understand this beloved understand this it's still in the present, it's not in the past, and it needs to be dealt with. Well, how can I deal with it, David? I'm glad you asked me that question. I'll tell you right now. All you need to do is to say these words. With my will, I will forgive. With your will. With your decision-making process, you forgive. Don't worry about the emotion. The emotion will catch up. It's with your will. And when you make that decision that you are going to forgive with your will, then you can turn to God and say, forgive me my sins as I am in the process with my will of forgiving that person. And the Lord says, okay, deal done. All of a sudden, what that person did to you in the past is now longer no longer in the present, it's in the past. Why? Because you have forgiven with your will. And that is what is needed. And that is what Jesus is talking about. This whole process of forgiveness is so difficult, yet with the Lord it's so easy. Things that were impossible in the natural, now in the supernatural, become possible. And so much easier. And that process starts now because when we've said this prayer what we were talking about goes into the past and we can now strive on to the future say these words with me just repeat these words heavenly father i am so sorry that i have not forgiven and then say the name of the person right now jesus in your name, I pray. With my will, I forgive. Say the name of the person. Thank you for saving me. And thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. And I give you the honor and the glory and the power that is due your holy name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Listen, beloved, I want to hear from you. You'll see the email address a little bit later on. We're going to worship God right now. This is Bethel Music, and this is called To Our God.
That was Bethel Music and To Our God. Thank you so much for joining us. Listen, I want to hear from you. If you have been especially touched by this broadcast today, I really want to hear from you. You can send us an email to this address. It's tv at worshipradio247.org. And don't forget to keep watching intently and we'll give you some more information about Worship Radio 247 because we'd love you to be a part of that community. Until the next time I say you, I just want to say this. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you and light shine upon you as well. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Hi there. If you're looking for worship 24 hours a day whenever you want it, then look no further than right here. Worship Radio 247 is a 24-hour-a-day, 365-day-a-year internet radio station based in the UK but broadcasting worldwide on the internet. Many people are tuning in and being blessed by the broadcasts, and it's easy to find too. Simply connect to www worshipradio247.org and click on the appropriate link or even download the app for your smartphones or tablet devices and there you are. Worship Radio 247 at your fingertips whenever you want it and wherever you want it. Worship Radio 247 online, worshipping God in spirit and in truth. www.worshipradio247.org